Hey guys, Zach here. I am stuck in Chiang Mai, Thailand for about six hours and I'm gonna see what it's like to live life on two wheels here. I'm pretty sure and I are gonna go out in the city. We're gonna rent some scooters. We're gonna ride around. We're gonna see what life looks like. There are a lot of two-wheel vehicles in this city. There are very few helmets. I'm excited to check it out. Let's see how it goes. Ten minutes in to adventure in Chiang Mai, producer Spencer and I are going to try and get a scooter for the cheapest price. And there is nothing more that he likes than negotiating. So he's in heaven right now. Let's see what we can do. That's his buddy. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> okay. Okay. Step one complete. We yeah. have scooters. How much? Yeah, 400 baht for the two of them, 200 baht each. I don't know what that math adds up to, but it's somewhere like seven cents a day or something. <laughs> pretty sure we got ripped off, but we yeah. also don't care. Got because it. I mean, how good do we look? Yeah. Let's go see what this is all about, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, gotta remember, stay left. I'm sure it won't be a problem at all. <laughs> nice, nice! Seems, seems like a certain amount of aggression, dude. Go, 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 go! It's off like a fucking shot! I can hardly keep up with it! <laughs> Jump the gun. Turn too soon. Oh, I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I need to be over here, so figured it out. That's good. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll stop number one. Seriously, this is freaking awesome. We gotta go check out these bikes. So cruising through Chiang Mai, saw this little guy. Look how rad this little motorcycle is. Remote reservoir shocks, like flat handlebars, little reverse cone pipe on it. It's so cool. I gotta find out how many bot it is. The bike in front, how much? How many bot? Uh, 51,000. 51,000? 52,000. Cool, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So found out <clears throat> 52,000 baht for this sweet little ride, which is a little bit under 1,500 bucks. Pretty cool. I feel like they'd sell the crap out of them in Venice Beach. All right, that's sweet. Where, where are we going next? What do we got? Oh, well, we should probably, much as we love motorcycles, soak up some culture, right? So we should soak, find some temples or something. Old city. I've heard there's an old city. Let's go find it. We found an empty road, which means only one thing. Chiang Mai Scooter Drag Race. Three, two, one, go! Such a bunch of bullshit. We just traded scooters, and he took mine. Clearly faster. Or maybe I'm just a fatty. Now that seems pretty skill based. <laughs> park and walk in? Yeah, park and walk in. Shoes off. Also, another fun fact we wear the same socks. Kind of awkward. <laughs> That's a complete coincidence. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a changed man, but I will say that it's pretty cool because like two feet away, literally on the other side of this wall, is one of the loudest bustling <laughs> cities I've ever been in. It's true. And you walk in and there is a certain peace that comes over things. Maybe they just have really thick walls. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> the weather's nice. It's beautiful. It's historic. And best of all, what do they have here, Zach? They got that sticky rice. Mm. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Mm. Look at that. 100 baht. It's like three bucks for two of these. And the mango, she cut like butter. The only thing questionable about it is this sauce on top that looks like, um, you know. Mm. So tasty. Okay, <clears throat> round little cafe racer, check. Mango okay. sticky rice, check. Historical markers, check. Some, some, whatever. We did here you go to a little mountaintop thing. Yep. The city. We have a view. So we're gonna try to do that. The guy that we rented the scooters from was a little bit skeptical because we got the smaller scooter. He's like, yeah, I don't know. Calling us back. Yeah, but he, but he did specifically ask how much we weighed, <laughs> which was kind of disconcerting. But I've got faith in these little machines. Me too. I think we're just gonna crush it. It feels strong. Very it feels strong. very strong. Very, very strong. Except for the brakes and the power and the handling. Right, and the amenities and the comfort. <laughs> There's a place for motorcycles and scooters at the front of the traffic line. How much sense does that make? It's freaking awesome. Alright, so we made it to the top of this mountain that... Whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. It's like the big mountain that overlooks Chiang Mai. Freaking awesome, awesome road, even on these little 110cc scooters. But, caution to all you extreme athlete travelers out there. If you do get up to the top, those sick Superman seat grab freestyle tricks are not going to fly up here. So don't even think about it. Cool. Not an especially clear day, as you can probably tell, but the good news about riding motorbikes is that it doesn't matter. We get to go down that road again. So view or no view, still a good time. <laughs> Restaurant or a plumber? Okay, well, we've spent most of a day with these scooters, and I know you guys are just dying to know. So the time has come for a quick review of this. Um, it looks suspiciously like a Yamaha Vino. Yeah, the, the Mio Fino. Yep. Not bad. It didn't fall apart. It went up the hill, it went down the hill, it went through traffic. The brakes worked, the engine works. The rear brake is shocking. The front brake's okay. Comfort, so-so. Considering everything, 25,000 rough kilometers, and it performs like this, this thing's okay in my book. Buy a little scoot, buy a little mirror that broke off. 
by Chiang Mai. So, final lesson learned about renting a scooter and riding around Chiang Mai is run a GoPro, because if the mirror just falls off for no reason, it turns out having video evidence will get you out of having to pay for it. Yeah, tried to charge us for it, and then we showed them GoPro footage of going down a paved road and it just fell off. And they laughed hysterically, which was awesome. And then they said, get out of here, you don't have to pay for it. So, hot tip, run a GoPro. Never know what you'll catch.